Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mention on the show, please check the description for links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Skeba. Here are your top stories. Samsung had some ups and downs this week, so we'll start with the good news. CEO J.K. Shin announced Samsung has shipped more than 40 million Galaxy S4 units since the phone's initial launch six months ago. Well, that puts them on track to unload more than 50 million S4s by the end of this year. Though we aren't 100% sure if those figures include variants of the S4 like the S4 Mini, S4 Active, and S4 Zoom. Either way, pretty good numbers that easily justify Samsung's massive marketing campaigns. Unfortunately, Samsung also had some bad news. According to a report from Taiwan's Fair Trade Commission, Samsung paid students to write and post negative reviews about HTC products while praising Samsung ones. Yikes. The commission could have dinged Samsung up to $835,000, but chose to fine them approximately $340,000. Well, some argue, though, that the damage has already been done, which is a real shame for HTC, as the HTC One is a beautiful device. In gaming, former EA CEO John Ricci Tiello sounded off on the price of video games. In fact, he put it pretty frankly when he said, quote, $60 is a giant F you to a very large number of people, end quote. Wow. Very strong words. He talked a lot about free-to-play models and variable pricing plans instead of a one-price-fits-all mentality. And we'll see if anything actually comes from his opinion. But um, I find it a little bit funny how he didn't seem to have a problem with exorbitant game prices when he was EA's CEO. Just saying. Nintendo announced this week it would be dumping the Nintendo Land Deluxe Wii U bundle, but they are replacing it with something a little more appealing. On November 1st, you'll be able to pick up the Mario and Luigi Deluxe set for the Wii U, which includes a 32-gig console in black and both new Super Mario Bros. U and new Super Luigi U. That's a pretty decent bundle for just $2.99, and just in time, of course, to compete with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 when they launch next month. Lastly, our wildcard piece this week is an editorial from our very own Todd Hazelton, who wrote about T-Mobile CEO John Laguerre's impact on the cellular industry thus far into his tenure. He says Laguerre is the CEO T-Mobile needed and that it was refreshing to see somebody intent on shaking up the way all of the big four carriers do business here in the U.S. If you're a fan of old legs, it's a great read. And yes, my nickname for John Laguerre is Legs. Deal with it. That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be so awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.